Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World YouTube channel. I hope you guys out there having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you guys it's surely coming to you all for sure. And if this is your first, second, third time or more to my YouTube channel, welcome. Happy to have you guys. Before you leave, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn about your girl, yeah? Speaking of coming and learn, you guys, I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC. We're a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain you guys all at once. So again, first, second, third time, or more, it don't matter. Just hit that subscribe button for your girl, yeah? All right, you guys. So today is Monday, last week of June. We're going to end it out on a high note. You guys know on Mondays we do our motivational content. And so uh, with that being said, I want to title this one, Mindset is Everything. I know in the past I've uh, done vlogs on uh, our contents on uh, reprogramming your mind, but a part of achieving your goals or accomplishing your dreams and goals is all entitled what your mindset is set on. So if you have that negative mindset or that back and forth mindset, then it's not going to work for you. You have to have that mindset of whether, you know, win, lose, or draw, I'm going to keep swinging. I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to give up. You know, I'm not throwing in the white flag or, you know, the fat lady over here ain't singing because I don't know how to sing, first of all, so I can't, ain't no singing over here. But when, you know, like I said, going after your dreams and goals, you have to have that mindset of, you know, I'm not saying you got to keep it positive all the time, but just be realistic when it comes to your dream and goal. And like I said, accepting that nothing is going to come to you overnight or just happen in, you know, one stroke. It's going to take time. So you have that mindset that eventually I'm going to get there. One day I will. If I keep going, I will eventually reach my destination. So I'm not saying not to have that positive mindset. Of course, keep that positive mindset, but more so have a realistic mindset that, hey, even though things aren't working out, out for me the way I wanted to right now or shit going a little slow for me uh, it's still all right I'm still gonna be okay I'm still making it and so I want you guys I'm sorry, I, gotta get my hair right there. <laughs> I want you guys to just keep that in mind when you guys are going after your dreams and goals um, to just have that like I said it, it is hard to have a positive mindset I'm the same way shit and I try to practice what I preach so a lot of the times it don't always feel positive for me um, so what I like to say is just to instead of being positive, and if you can't don't if you can't be positive, definitely don't be negative. But it's all right to keep it real when it comes to like achieving your goals and, and, and things not working out the way that you are expecting it to, or it's not coming as fast as you want it to. I was uh, watching on YouTube. I, I don't go to church, but I do watch a lot of uh, TD Jakes at the Potter's House online I watch a lot of his videos and he was just explaining how everything good in your life that you want to come to you it will have to take time you know you want to still a career you know an outstanding husband or a wife those things take time it's not going to come overnight and so having that mature mindset and common sense and knowing and accepting as well as accepting you guys that nothing is going to happen overnight and so having the mindset that you know oh I do this I do that and it's going to happen no if you look at all these artists and they they come up story and seeing how long it took for them to get on look at for instance Lil Dirt he's been in this music industry for around 10 years he's just now starting to get the recognition that you know he should have gotten years ago and so it takes time and, and he, he knew and understand it takes time and he would have to keep going to eventually to get to where he was and so he didn't have a negative mindset and it wasn't always positive but it wasn't one that kept him down and kept him going and so that's what you guys have to have uh, like I said when it comes to motivating you guys you have to hear from more than one person and so with that being said check out this dope motivational vlog I found uh, in regards to having a good mindset and when it comes to timing and having a mindset so check it out and once we come back on I'll talk a little bit more about what's going on in difference well yeah here it is how serious are you about changing your life? When people want to reset their lives in some area, or they want to get a fresh start, they often think that um, the first thing they need to do um, is to change their location. But it's not the very first thing that needs changing in your life. Uh, it might take a while to change your location, but you can start changing your mind right there where you're seated right now. To reset your life, 
to have this transformation, to get a fresh new start in any area, career, marriage, relationships, health, whatever. To reset your life, the first thing you need to work on is your mindset. What do you mean by that? How you see yourself, how you see your problems, and most important of all, how you see God. If you don't change your mindset first, a change in your location, or a change in your scenery. It's not gonna help much, you know why? Because you could go to Tahiti, but you take you with you wherever you go. And, and so if the stress is in your brain and you go to Tahiti or anywhere else, uh, you're, you're taking the stress with you because the stress is between your ears. There's nothing more powerful than a changed mind. You can change jobs, change relationships, change your looks. The calendar can change. We can go into a new year. But if your thinking is the same, nothing will be different. Why don't you change your mind? Break out of those ruts that have held you back. Now, when those thoughts come saying, it's been too long, it's never going to happen, just tell doubt, I've changed my mind. I know what God promised is on the way. I'm a believer and not a doubter. Tell fear, I've changed my mind. Not going to live worried, stressed, afraid. I know God has me in the palm of his hand. Tell guilt, shame, the past. I've changed my mind. I'm not living condemned, listening to the accusing voices. I'm forgiven. I'm redeemed, restored. My future is bright. Tell lack, struggle, not having enough. I've changed my mind. That is not my destiny. I will lend and not borrow. What I touch will prosper and succeed. Abundance, overflow, increase is coming my way. Or when thoughts tell you, this is going to be another average year. Nothing good is in store. Don't expect anything different. Tell discouragement. Tell low expectations. I've changed my mind. This is going to be a blessed year, a bountiful year, a favor-filled year. Something good is going to happen to me. When you change your mind, when you get in agreement with God, angels go to work. Miracles are set in motion, healing, breakthroughs, favor comes looking for you. The right mindset says, I'm gonna look ahead because something good is gonna happen to me. Wrong mindset says, nothing's ever gonna change. Everything is gonna be just the way as it's always been. But you can change a wrong mindset tonight. You don't have to wait for a fit. You can think what you want to think. You don't have to think everything that falls in your head. That's why we have this book to tell us what's right and what's wrong. And so when the next time you have a thought that says it's too late for you, well, guess what? You can't find that in this book. Or the next time you have the thought, you're, you're no good. All you are is a big mess up. You, you never do anything right. Well, guess what? That's a lie. Because the Bible says that you're precious, you're special, you're created in his image. He's got a good plan for you. What's holding us back many times is our own thinking. If you think you've reached your limits, then you have. If you think the problem is too big, then it is. If you think you'll never meet the right person, you probably won't. You have to get a new mindset. Start believing bigger, dreaming bigger, expecting bigger. Why don't you get a new mindset? God, I don't see a way, but I know you have a way. The medical report doesn't look good, but I know you're my healer. I'm struggling in my finances, but I believe abundance is coming. This dream looks impossible, but I know you can open doors that no person can shut. Quit making excuses. Quit coming up with reasons why you can't be successful, can't get well, can't live free, can't get married, can't go to the new level. You may be limited, but God is unlimited. He's about to do something that you've never seen. Negative thinking limits God and it limits all of our potential. What kind of life are we going to have if we don't believe for good things? It's going to be a life without joy. It's going to be a sad life. 
it's going to be a life full of all kinds of negative things because if you've got a negative mind and a negative mouth and a negative attitude, then your life is going to be negative. Now, being positive does not mean that we deny the existence of problems. It simply means that we believe that God is greater than the problem. Let me ask you, whatever kind of problem you have right now, do you believe that God is greater than your problem? Do you believe that God can do anything, that all things are possible with God? Let's just stay in faith and every day say, God, I believe that you're going to take care of this. You see, no matter who's against you, if God is for you, you're going to end up being a winner in life. And God is for you, not against you. And God is on your side. And God does have a good plan for your life. Is your thinking limiting your life? Who says you can't do something great? Who says you can't start your own business? Who says you can't get well? Who says you can't go where no one in your family has gone? God is calling you to be a trendsetter, a difference maker, a barrier breaker. Quit looking at what you lost, what you don't have. The odds may be against you, but the Most High God is for you. He's breathing in your direction right now. You're not on your own. You and God are a majority. Nothing can stand against Him. What He has purposed for your life will come to pass. Now get in agreement with God. All he needs to work with is mustard seed faith. You don't have to have great faith, just a little bit of faith. God, I believe you can take me where I can't go on my own, that I'm about to see the surpassing greatness of your favor. Isn't it, isn't it amazing how God gives us this thing called an imagination, but he gives us the free will to decide, are we going to let that be controlled by fear or faith? God wants to do something new in your life. God wants to work in you in ways that he's never worked before. But if you're ever going to become the new you, you're going to have to change your brain. You're going to have to think new thoughts. You have to think God thoughts. Victory starts in our mind. When your vision is limited, your life will be limited. It's amazing what happens when you enlarge your vision, when you believe big, when you pray bold prayers, when you dream great dreams. But too often, because of disappointments, delays, things that haven't worked out, we've watered down our dreams. We've lowered our expectations. We're not stretching, believing for great things, believing to get well. Are you putting limits on what God wants to do in your life? Are you focused on what you think can happen only in your ability? You're looking at the natural, but God is supernatural. He controls the universe. He parts Red Seas. He brought water out of a rock. He fed thousands with two fish. Don't base your containers on what you can do. Base it on what God can do. You know, your thoughts can take you somewhere where you'd really like to be, or they can keep you somewhere where you don't want to be. They can take you where you'd like to be, and they can keep you where you don't want to be. So set your mind where you want to go not where you've been or where you are right now. Have a vision for your life. Have a vision for your children. Have a vision for your home. Have a vision for your ministry. And don't back down and give up on it. Wrong thinking causes us more problems than what we can even possibly imagine. No more, I'll never get out of this problem. The obstacles are too big. I'll never get ahead. Never break this addiction. Never meet the right person. Don't let a limited mindset keep you from the abundant life that belongs to you. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that inspirational and motivational vlog I found online. I dropped their information below in the description. I don't know the exact name of it, but it was called Mindset is Everything. And so, again, as they were stating and as in coincide with what I was saying, you guys, mindset is everything when it comes to going after your dreams and goals. If you don't have that mindset that no matter what it takes, no matter how long it takes for me to achieve this goal, I'm going to do it. 
then I'm going to do it. If you don't have that type of mindset, you won't make it when it comes to going for your dreams and goals, you guys. And so if anybody out there who agrees with me, disagrees with me, that likes the video and the content that I'm bringing today, show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and definitely, guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I truly appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Please keep it coming. Uh, as well as you guys, don't forget, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and you can check out all of my other social media handles, including my Instagram, my Twitter, et cetera, et cetera, as well as anybody out there looking for any motivational speakers, would like for me to be a part of any grassroots conversations or um, what else we got? Oh. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, a, a podcast interview, definitely get at your girl on my website, differenceworld.net. I am free of charge as of now. So again, just go to my website and book your girl there. As well as, you guys, don't forget my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, is available on my website at differenceworld.net. Again, this book was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, be advised that this is intended for a mature audience. It has sensitive content. And so if you can't take this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen. <laughs> That's the point of it all, you guys, is to have these conversations that need to be had that are often swept under the rug, people turn a blind eye to. It's the point of it all to come to these round table and have these conversations so that we can talk about coming up with ways so we can talk about accountability, acknowledgement, and unity, and ultimately systemic change. Quite frankly, I'm tired of talking about systemic racism, but however, this is just where we're at with it. Until that day comes, this is what we're going to be talking about. So again, go to my website and get your copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Again, you guys, I appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Please keep it coming and don't stop, you guys. Um, moving right along with a different train. What else we got going on tomorrow? It's Tuesday. You guys know Tuesday we do our social awareness content. And in the close out of uh, June being the month of Pride Month, we're going to be dropping something for you guys. Um, I don't like being a part of the wave. I mean, uh, usually I notice how in the beginning of June everybody jumps on the gay bandwagon. And I didn't want to be those that one person. And so I choose to, usually do mine at the end. And so, again, that's why you guys got to hit that notification bell. So when I drop content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn about what's going on, yeah? All right, you guys. So what else we got going on? We have our mental health check time, you guys, out there uh, for those that may need it, including myself. Um, anybody going through any type of mental anguish, including depression, bullying, PTSD, suicidal thoughts, anxiety attacks, even having, you know, drug relapse. Please know that it is okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever that may mean to you. Talking with a therapist, a family member, a friend, picking up a hobby, medication, whatever that may mean to you, the way you have to keep your mental health in check and not go off the deep end and possibly take anybody with you, do it. Uh, if you need or if you know anybody that may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741. Or for those that would prefer to go online, you guys can check out mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the U.S. that's watching your girl's YouTube channel, you guys can check out incounseling.com. Again, incounseling is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. And remember, you guys, although I am giving you these mental health resources, it is on you to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters, nobody else. Lastly, I want you guys to remember whatever trial and tribulation that you guys are going through, please know that this too shall pass and you will get through it. So going off the deep end is not an option, it's not worth it, so don't do it, okay? So that goes entirely to doing whatever you guys have to do to keep your mental health in check and maintain keeping your mental health in check. It's not just a one-time thing, it's an ongoing thing. And so with that being said, we're going to move on, bring it back to some positive energy, you guys. Again, I hope you enjoy watching our Motivation to Be Lost today in regards to mindset uh, being everything. And remember, when it comes to achieving your dreams and goals, it's all about that mindset. You know, reprogram your mind if you have to. Do whatever it is that you need to when it comes to getting your mind right and in tune with your heart and what it says that you were destined for in life. 
And so again, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You guys definitely appreciate all the love and support. And remember you guys, whatever it is in life that you are feeling you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And it will surely come to you. Difference will come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.